Hi everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History Channel. Tonight I'm bringing you the second edition on YouTube of the 2021 Paul Carriage Awards. I did my inaugural one last year on YouTube, however I've been doing this award since 2013. The award's named after Paul Carriage and maybe some of my younger audience or people who are not really familiar or are new to rugby league, they probably wouldn't know who Paul Carriage is, but Paul Carriage was a rugby league player who played for Illawarra, Parramatta and Salford between 1996 and 1999. He's best remembered for his time at Parramatta and the infamous 1998 preliminary final where he made several errors in the second half of the game and extra time of the match where Canterbury come from 18-2 down with nine minutes to go and beat Parramatta 32 points at 20 to advance to the grand final. Paul Carriage is famous in rugby league. There's even a phrase named after him doing a Paul Carriage, which basically means to play a very bad match. Paul Carriage is considered to have probably played one of the worst ever finals matches as a player in perhaps the history of rugby league or maybe just in the NRL era of rugby league but he's famous and very well known for that he never played first grade again after that match and uh, it no doubt scarred him for life and scarred many Parramatta fans for the rest of their lives as well let me assure you that now that we've got the introduction out of the road though let's go ahead and talk about some of the nominations for this year there's been a couple there's been a couple of players who didn't particularly play well in a finals match. So I'm going to bring them to you now. And the first one is Manly Warringah's Morgan Harper against Melbourne in week one of the finals, the qualifying final. Morgan Harper, he didn't particularly have the greatest game in that open week of the finals. Uh, Manly ended up losing that match 40 points to 12. But Morgan Harper had... A hand in some of Melbourne's tries, especially the first one where he lost the ball cold and Isaac Lumeli Lumeli or Lumi Lumi raced away and scored a try. And then he was also at fault uh, for two other tries. Throughout the match, though, he was basically run over the top of by Justin Olam. He had a very poor night against Justin Olam. And there was one particular try that Ryan Pappenhausen scored off the back of Morgan Harpe, feeling the tackle of Justin Olam, and Justin Olam basically palmed him, away, palmed him away like he was a rag doll or something like that and raced away the score. Defensively, he was found out all night. It was perhaps probably one of his worst performances of the year, and he's one of the nominations for the Paul Carriage Award for 2021. The next nomination on this list is... Parramatta's Ray Stone, who played in the second week of the finals, the elimination final against Penrith, which Parramatta lost eight points to six. Ray Stone is not a dummy half, he's not a hooker, he was just filling in for a position that uh, was shortened by Reid Marnie not being there and Joey Lusick not being there. And defensively, throughout the match, he was okay, but offensively, he perhaps had one of the worst finals games by anyone in quite some time he made three key errors in the match all from dummy half his distribution from dummy half was very poor there was two passes that he threw along the ground which went forward the referee deemed them to be knock-ons as a result Parramatta in one instance had to defend four sets in a row after that error the next one was where they just defended about three sets in a row and Ray Stone threw one of those passes which put the team back in defensive pressure once again. And then right before full time, there was a play called by Dylan Brown. Ray Stone did not see the play. He threw the ball to Junior Paolo who dropped the ball cold. And Parramatta's last chance or last chance to put on an attack and play and possibly win the, the game was over. He also only made four runs for the entire night, making 18 metres. If you compare that to Penrith's Apisai Coruscant, he made six runs for 62 metres. 
I know I might be sounding a bit harsh on Ray Stone, but when you are filling in for a position, even when it's finals, you're expected to do the job. And Ray Stone didn't. And he had possibly one of the worst finals matches. And he put Parramatta under extreme pressure, which gave us not really many opportunities to attack. We spent most of the second half defending off the back of Ray Stone's errors. So Ray Stone gets the second nomination for the Paul Carriage Award for 2021. The third and final nominee for the Paul Carriage Award in 2021 is Melbourne's George Jennings. He was part of the Melbourne side which reached the preliminary final against Penrith and they lost that match 10 points to 6. George Jennings had an awful game on the wing for Melbourne. He made three errors. One of them was very, very crucial. First half, Penrith were up in in the lead and the ball went out to George Jennings. It was a play out the back from Munster to, to Hughes and it found itself out to George Jennings on the wing. He was unmarked. All he had to do was catch the ball and score a try and Melbourne were back in the game. Instead, he drops the ball over the line and from that point on, things just didn't seem to go Melbourne's way. They had a couple of disallowed tries but this was definitely one that would have been given the green light. In the second half, he was troubled quite a few times by Brian Toto and the, the Penrith players from that side of the field. And eventually in the second half, he let in a try. He come off his wing. He was found out of position and Brian Toto scored what was to be the match winning try. George Jennings also had a few troubles in the first half with Brian Toto and the Penrith attack. He probably had one of the worst games of his career, I think. It's a game that he'd like to forget. So George Jennings is the final nominee for the Paul Carriage Awards in 2021. The Paul Carriage Award this year has actually been very tough to pick because in other years you have a, a clear winner. You have someone that obviously had a really poor game in a finals match. But this year, after having to think about it and thinking about the three in total, I'm actually going to go for Ray Stone. Ray Stone is the 2021 Paul Cabbage Award winner. I think Ray Stone's performance, especially with some of the errors that he made, were very, very crucial. And it put Parramatta under massive pressure. And then right towards the end, there was a Hail Mary play. There was a play that could potentially win Parramatta the match. And he chose the wrong option through the wrong pass. And it was game over for Parramatta. So I'd like to congratulate you, Ray Stone, on this award. I would have you on camera. I would have you make a speech. But unfortunately, you can't be here tonight because I'm in England. But let's look at back at some of the other winners of the Paul Carriage Award, starting with the first one. In 2013, David Williams for his performance in the 2013 Grand Final against Eastern Suburbs where he made quite a few errors. Next we have Tony Williams in the 2014 Grand Final for Canterbury against South Sydney. He was responsible for the missed tackle on George Burgess. 2015, Ben Hunt for his uh, drop ball which pretty much cost Brisbane a chance at the Premiership and sealed North Queensland's win. 2016, Edric Lee. He uh, bombed two tries, which cost Cambry a place in the grand final that year. 2017, Blake Ferguson. His errors in the second half led to North Queensland scoring tries, which got them into the grand final. 2018, Cameron Munster, who's sin been twice in Melbourne's loss against Eastern Suburbs and had an awful game in the grand final. 2019, Darius Boyd, who went missing in that 58-0 loss against Parramatta in week one of the finals in 2019. 2020, Mitchell Moses, who missed a routine conversion, which saw South Sydney race down the other end of the field and score a try. So instead of Parramatta taking the lead in the elimination final against South Sydney, they were behind on the scoreboard and they never recovered. But anyway, that's me 2021 Paul Carriage Award done and dusted for another year. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
Let me know in the comment section below if you thought that I made the right choice in choosing Ray Stone. And I'll be doing my Neville Glover Awards in the next day or so, maybe two or three days time. Anyways, this is Ruby League History, signing off, and I'll catch us all later in the next one. Alright, tatty bye for now.